I don't want to be that person with my hairline starting back here, y'all. I don't want to be that auntie or grandma that y'all see with no edges with my hairline back here. It's not like I'm quitting YouTube. I'm just, you know, quitting locks. Oh my God, that sounds so sad. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee Dee. I'm coming to you live, looking crusty and exhausted. Um, and I'm probably going to cut off my locks or comb them out. <laughs> so for the better half of last year, I've been upset, and this year, honestly, I've been obsessing over wash and goes and braids and cornrows and wigs and Honestly, I think I'm just ready to take that leap of faith towards something different. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been locked for about four years now. I started off my locks on my own natural hair. My mom just did two strand twists. And then I added lock extensions for length. So basically, I'm just at a stage where I just feel like I need a change of some sort. Um, and I also feel like the health of my hair is important during these times. So like I was saying before, um, combing out my locks or cutting them off would be for the benefit of the health of my hair, honestly. Um, with locks, I've noticed that I really just haven't been taking care of my hair. It's so easy to just get into this get up and go type of phase where you're like not really moisturizing your locks or not really taking care of it. And some nights I'll go to sleep without a bonnet and etc. So it's like, I think it's time to hold myself accountable for the health of my hair. I don't necessarily have to take my locks out for this, but I do think it's time for me to take out my locks. Another thing that I feel like I'm really ready to just experiment with right now and that I feel like I'm missing is just versatility. Like, yes, locks can be versatile. Personally, I just want more. Like before I had locks, I was a loose natural for years. Like, and I find myself having to explain that to a lot of people when I'm like, oh, I'm probably gonna cut my locks or take them out. But like, yeah, I was a loose natural for years. I even started this channel off of my natural hair. If you go back to like the very first video and off of braids and stuff like that. So I kind of just miss that kind of stuff. Like having wigs one moment and then having braids the next. So. I'm definitely going to probably lean towards combing out my locks. Now, in terms of combing out my locks, I did try to comb out a few and I will insert a clip. So after trying to comb out one of my locks, I realized that I have a serious extraneous journey ahead and I don't know if I have that type of patience to do it. Um, if I get frustrated, I might as well just shave it all off, but I'm going to try and try to comb it all out and try to work with my hair as much as possible. In terms of combing it out, I'm in a process of studying right now. So I'll probably just be combing every, you know, every once in a while, like a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there. It took me 15 minutes to comb out one lock. Y'all, I have 125 locks on my head. How the hell am I gonna do this? If I had one big fat lock, then it would be easy. But I have a lot of locks. So I'm wondering if I can like recruit somebody to help me with my hair or, you know, if I should, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to figure it out because one way or another, these locks are going to be out by the end of June. So, and I figured I should just come on here and just tell you guys who've been with me from the beginning of my lock journey and are just as invested as me. Um... So yeah, that's the decision and I've been thinking about it so much more lately. Like, yeah, and whenever I'm thinking about it and then I see another lock person comb out their locks, I was like, damn, I should just go for it. And then another person that I follow combed out their locks, I'm like, damn, I should just stick with my guts. So I'm finally growing the kahunas to do so. So I lost a lot of hair when combing out that one lock in the back of my head and my nape. 
like a lot of hair and I could even feel it ripping as I was trying to comb it with the little rat tail comb like if you guys know of any other easier ways to do this let me know because I saturated my hair with water then I added a bunch of conditioner with slit and then I started combing out my lock from tip all the way to root and that shit was extraneous it was too much so um yeah it's gonna take a while because one lock took 15 minutes and I just don't know how I'm going to be able to get this done so just to tell you guys I was supposed to comb my locks out in like August like closer to winter time when I didn't have to deal with my natural hair in the summertime because I have mad shrinkage from what I remember and humidity is a bitch so I was supposed to do this in August closer to like September or October but I decided to do it early because I realized that like I said the health of my hair was struggling like when I was in the bathroom recently I noticed that my edges were like thinning and breaking and that can be a result of so many things it can be from me not moisturizing my hair enough but locks tend to be a lot more drier than loose natural hair so that's something i've always struggled with i've even made videos about it um it could also be because sometimes i don't sleep without a bonnet which rarely happens but it does happen every once in a while it can also be attributed to the fact that maybe i'm stressed because i am in a stressful time in my life right now so i'm just not even sure like what the contributing factors are and I don't feel like I'm over twisting, like retwisting my hair, but it could also be that. But I noticed that I had a lot of breakage. I'll insert a video of my edges and my edges are already fragile to start with. Like I'm not one of those people with like thick, full edges. I'm not blessed that way, but my edges are already like a little bit thinner to start with. So I feel like the locks are just kind of making it worse. Like I can see my hairline, like, you know, lock people who have hairlines all the way back here and they refuse to let go of the locks because they like it that much. I don't want to be that person with my hairline starting back here, y'all. I don't want to be that auntie or grandma that y'all see with no edges with my hairline back here. Who? Who? Me? No. So, <laughs> so not to mention, my hair was like shedding and just breaking everywhere. Like, if I late, and it would be the ends of my hair and it would be my actual hair also. And I remember I kept telling you guys this in my last video truth about lock extensions, about how much ridiculous shedding I've been getting. Well, it could be the lock extensions and it could also just be my lack of taking care of my hair. I'm always honest. I'm very like aggressive with my hair. Like I'm not the most gentle person and sometimes I can be neglectful. It's very important for me to prevent that with all means possible. So yeah, like I just really want my hair to be overall healthy like without any questions without anything um so very sad to be parting ways with my locks i feel like 2020 has just been rough bruh like <laughs> i'm sad to be parting with my locks because i love my locks like i love my locks y'all and they're about to be gone like the ease of me waking up in the morning brushing my edges and just going is gone like that's non-existent anymore I'm gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier give it a little bit more love and take care of it during the week oh god what am i getting myself into <laughs> but um it's just it just has to be done because i'm i'm ready to just do so much more with my head and my scalp and my hair that i don't want to be stuck with my locks will i ever revisit having locks of course i am not getting rid of my lock extensions I'm gonna keep them, but to revisit my locks, the door is definitely open. Not sure when I would be getting locks ever again, or if I would ever be getting locks ever again, but I'm definitely open to the idea of getting locks because I've loved my lock journey. Like, it's been the easiest thing, the biggest blessing to me. So, if I had to, you know, start my natural hair journey all over again, my loose natural hair journey all over again, and then realize that I didn't love it and I wanted to have locks again, I would just get locks again. It's just that simple. But for right now, I just need a break, make my hair healthier and reevaluate my priorities because priorities, like why am I talking like that? Anyways, that is my quick update. I really wanted to come in and just share that with you guys and just let you guys know so you're not like completely shocked and flabbergasted when I post a video on natural hair and i hope you guys will stay on this channel with me 
I know, but um, if not, then I understand. I'm so excited to make so many more natural hair videos. It's not like I'm quitting YouTube, but I'm just, you know, quitting locks. Oh my God, that sounds so sad. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Why can't I speak? I'm just so sad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me comments below of your thoughts, and I hope to see you in my next video.